Now it's Andrew here with uh, Waterford Harbour Toys and Tales again and I'm here in the shore just at the end of King's Channel that's the Ford and you can see the Barrow Princess powering away on up there heading to Waterford so Waterford's that way it's Kilkenny and the port Bellevue port of Waterford and in here we have Fate Lake. Fate Lake Pill is just up there. And sort of in the centre of the shot. But the place name I want to look at today is these collection of timbers, which you're probably saying to yourself, well, there's nothing very exciting about them. And I suppose there isn't really. Uh, the place name is the Jetty Sleepers. And for years, that's what I would have known them as when we were fishing. Um, Pat Moore and Jerry Bowen and myself were up here fishing eels. And uh, the Jetty Sleepers was one of those lines that we often mentioned. Good spot for nets, etc. And Jerry, of course, lived up the hill there, up in the Kennels Lane. Um, and Fade Lake House was just the back of us there just in over those trees. That was known as the oak wood and that's all that remains of it now, just a strip of it running down there. It was knocked by the De La Salle brothers in the Second World War for fuel. Uh, but the Jetty Sleepers is a place name associated with the powers of Fate Lake House and in particular I think Pat Power and that's probably when this dates from. There's a fantastic painting in Dungarvan in the County Museum it's a watercolour of this pier. Uh, I beg your pardon, this jetty, but they call it a pier. A pier, I think, is stone. Um, and a jetty is timber built. You just get a sense here now as we're coming down. It's ebb tide now, just tides just after turning off the width of it. So just get a sense of it there with the, with the, the distance between those poles and it went all the way in and onto the land and the painting that done carving the county museum is up against the back wall of it just so it a good way of the name of the of the Barrow Princess there now Uh, about 200 yards down there was a boathouse, it's lost in the trees there now and of course the, the, uh, they also overwintered the boats um, in Cheek Point in, uh, in the Rookery um, where there's also a fine boathouse and uh, the quay down there where it would have been safe for the winter time. I've seen pictures and paintings from Maud Power of the one of the steamboats or steam yachts, which was the Jenny, and um, yeah, they were uh, they they had a local crew. They sailed all over Europe uh, in the summertime, and um, this uh, jetty, this jetty here, would have seen quite a lot of interest, quite a lot of activity, I'd say, back in the day. 
I have a theory about it as well in terms of gun run um, for the IRA and um, 1920s but uh, I don't know if yet to get any conclusive proof about that but anyway the jetty sleepers just another place name collection of timber people would pass it by and think nothing of it but it's uh, it indicates something a lot more rich in terms of the history of the, the maritime history of Waterford and Waterford Harbour and uh, I hope you enjoyed that little piece so um, I link the, the the painting that's in the County Museum uh, into this when I put it up on YouTube so you, you can just follow the link in the description down below but um, uh, if you're around Waterford if you get a chance to go down to the County Museum it's always worth a visit anyway but it's a really beautiful painting really worth looking at actually there's also a couple of other paintings by Maud Power uh, the artist Maud Power who was daughter was she a daughter or an aunt she was a daughter of Pat Powers I think and um, in Fade Lake uh, so in the in the, ho in the ho hotel so if you get a chance take a look at her her paintings she was um, she also wrote a book um, anyway that was uh, the Jetty Sleepers in Fade Lake Andrew Doherty Tides and Tales.ie